In this video, we'll see the top 5 tech shelters for web development that you can use in 2021. Now, this list is prepared according to how I think it is. You might have a different view and you might prefer a different tech shelter. I have used all of these tech shelters at one point in time according to the need. Okay, so if you don't agree with me, it's completely fine. You might be comfortable with a different text editor. When you guys are new to web development, choosing the right text editor has a lot of impact and how you turn out to be a developer. If you choose the right text editor that suits you and the one that you can easily work on, your work rate increases as there is no need to waste time getting familiar with the editor. But if you end up choosing the wrong text editor, you'll need to give time to get familiar with the text and then focus on coding. As you move along in your journey as a web developer, you might learn from different instructors and different teachers. You might use different text editors. It is not necessary that you should use the same editor as your teacher or instructor is using. You can use the editor, the one that you are already comfortable with. Choose whatever will think make you more productive and then go on. So on number 5, we have Notepad++. So Notepad++ is a free source code editor and is a replacement for the basic Notepad you have on your Windows. This is not a crash platform app, which means that if you're using Mac OS or Linux, you cannot install Notepad++ on your system. It is only available for Windows OS and it is supported by Microsoft. It is simple and basic and it does not have many built-in packages, but it still does the work. When you install Notepad++, it, is, it has a very simple UI, which is very easy. So you can just start coding without getting familiar with the structure or with the software what Notepad++ is. So now let's see a few pros and a few cons of Notepad++. So for pros, the first thing that we have is syntax highlighting. When you type a code in Notepad++ and when you save that file, all of the syntax uh, has a meaning so all of the syntax will have a different color when you create a function or when you open a tag in HTML when you add an attribute so it will have a different color rather than the normal text the second thing that we have is code folding the third is we can open multiple documents at the same time then the next we have is it is very lightweight and it is very fast to use then the fifth thing we have is we can install multiple plugins in Notepad++ that can help us to code better and faster. Now let's move on to cons. In cons, we have that Notepad++ does not check the syntax. If it is proper or not, if it is correct or not, if the spelling mistake, it does not change the syntax, checks the syntax. Second con that we have is it is not cross-platform. So if you are a developer using Mac or Linux, you cannot use Notepad++ on your device. You can only use it in Windows. So this is the second con. The third one is it is not visually that good. It just looks like a simple Notepad that you have installed already in your Windows. So if you're using this and you're a big fan of, you know, uh, software looking good or interactive UI, Notepad++ does not have an interactive UI. It seems pretty boring. So that's one of the main reasons many developers do not use Notepad++. And the last reason is even though you can install many plugins in Notepad++, installing plugins as a beginner is a bit of difficult task. You have to get familiar a little bit. So you can find where you have to install the plugin, then search for that plugins and then install it. So it's a bit of a tedious task. Moving on, if you guys want to install Notepad++ on your system, you can click on the i button right now. I have a video on how you can download and install Notepad++ on your Windows operating system. So if you want to install it, do give it a watch. Then the next on the list we have at number four is Sublime Text. Now, many of the developers use Sublime Text because it is simple, it is fast, it is lightweight, and also it has many things that other text editors lack. Okay, the current version of Sublime Text is Sublime Text 3. You can download it for free as you can see here, but it is not completely free. After some time, you might need to purchase a licensed version. The free version provides mostly all the functions of the light, light licensed version, but it keeps on showing you pop-ups where you are coding, which gets annoying after some time and you just quit using uh, Sublime Text. 
if you want to see the features you can go to this website you can see there are many features in everything sublime now like unlike notepad plus plus sublime is not available only for windows you can use sublime on mac linux windows and whatever os that you want to use many people prefer sublime because of its startup speed because it starts up pretty quickly okay it does not take time opening and then you don't have to wait another time for loading your files and everything it starts up pretty fast it is very lightweight and fast the keyboard uh, shortcuts are quite useful when you're working with javascript okay so many people use it to code javascript because the keyboard shortcuts that sublime provides for coding is pretty much amazing now let's talk about the pros and cons of sublime text the pros in first we have auto completion when you're typing something it automatically detects what you want to type and it gives you option that if this is what you want to type and you can just click on enter and you can save that much amount of time and the second thing that we have again is code folding when you divide your code into certain segments and you close up one segment so that you can focus on the next part of the segment then it has fast startup speed it is customizable you can customize and make it look whatever you uh, in whatever way you want then uh, we can you know open multiple sections at each time and we can code together in both of those section in this also we have syntax highlighting which tells us what we are using a tag or a normal text or attribute or element whatever cons is it is not very beginner friendly you have to give some time to understand sublime text how to use sublime text so it is not that beginner friendly you need to give some time to understand it in sublime text even though it is fast and lightweight the development is a little bit slow and uh, the plugin installation is also a little bit complicated and also there is no auto save function when i was using there was no auto save function which causes us to load uh, the loss of our code sometimes if we forget to save it and suddenly our pc runs out of power then it's shut down so auto save feature is not present so that's a big turn off and uh, it takes time to understand the environment that is sublime so that results in the loss of our productivity and we need to install many plugins that other editors like we'll see in the again in the list that the other text editors have but sublime lacks okay again if you want to download and install sublime text i've men i've given you can just click on the i button i've also given a link in the description you can download and install sublime text on your pc on the third part of the list we have a text editor called as brackets okay now as you can see on its official site right now that on september 1 2021 adobe will end support for brackets okay so it is not available to download anywhere on its site but you can keep using if i honestly was a big fan of brackets when i started using brackets because it has an amazing ui and it is very helpful for front end development it did not when the time i was learning web development it did not have much support for back end development of back end languages but now it has started evolving and growing in back end also but again due to some reason i think adobe and microsoft have made a deal and now brackets is telling its user to shift on visual studio code okay so it's not available to download anymore but if you want to download brackets you can just click on the i button right now and download brackets i've made a video of how you can download brackets in an legal and ethical way okay talking about brackets bracket is an open source modern code editor it is mostly written in html css and javascript as you can see it is developed by adobe or adobe its logo or its site also says built with web for the web okay it is mainly used for web designing and front end development and as i said no one uses brackets much for server side development so then again you have to shift to other editors for server side development languages such as java php or python and other things we also have many cool features that first introduced that was first introduced in brackets such as live preview of what you're coding then the color picker and so on we can use plugins and extensions to make this editor even more powerful and again it supports cross platform development now let's talk about pros and cons of uh, brackets the pros in first we have the live preview setting that is you can see whatever code you are typing 
on the screen itself okay whatever changes you make it will be displayed automatically without you having to refresh your browser it has a great syntax highlighting better than notepad plus plus and sublime text combined it has simple and an amazing ui and it has many awesome theme that makes it catchy and you want to spend more time on it it also has quick css editing and uh, it provides many shortcuts for you in css editing which is very very helpful trust me the cons of brackets is it focuses mainly on front end development no much there is not much back end support for uh, even though it has evolved in python and ruby but there's not that much support so user have to shift to another browser for server side web development only due to this reason many people avoid using brackets now i wish that brackets had come past this point and they had made a back end also supported because if they did this was the best text editor out there in the market but as now they have not evolved from it they have just shut down brackets okay from september 21 uh, september 1st 2021 you cannot use matlab brackets will not be available they are asking us to shift on visual studio code okay now the next on the list we have is atom so atom initially was developed by github which is now owned by microsoft so microsoft owns atom now okay it is free to use and it has it is also cross platform okay you can see here if you want to download you can just click on download and you can see it is also available for mac os linux chrome os and everything it will run on whichever os you want it to have it is available it is also one of the most used text editor among developers atom has many built in packages and cool features such as git integration then you can see teletype and many more which makes it competitor which makes it one of the best competitor in text editors many users shifted from sublime to atom because of the simpler ui and the ease of access okay its ui is a little bit similar to sublime and it is very easier to access as compared to sublime talking about the pros and cons atom it's free to use syntax highlighting and checking is by far better than all of the text editors we have seen up till now the ui is very simple it is easy to use it is easily hackable if you can see on the site also it has written a hackable text editor for the 21st century so it is easily hackable which means that you can design it the way you want using html css and javascript code okay the way you want it the atom will work in that way it has awesome extension and plugins and has a huge community support okay so it keeps on updating and keeps on evolving now the cons the only reason people have stopped using atom are these cons that are that matter a lot and the first we have it is very 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 slow on startup okay it it is so slow that i cannot even define how slow atom is and it heats up our system almost every time every time we try to code it heats up our system it cannot handle big files when you're trying to handle big files big codes and everything it just keeps on crashing and overheating switching between atom and another software even chrome when you're using chrome and developing a website or web application switching between chrome and atom is also very tough because it keeps on lagging it consumes too much battery and too much memory and also sometimes it freezes and closes which has happened a lot with me so we end up losing the code that we have already written okay and again device overheating is a major issue because my laptop and my pc both system keeps on heating okay you can literally hear the noise the fan makes when you're using atom if you want to download atom click on the i button you can go there and download atom on the second number we had atom now the final code editor that you all have been waiting for is vs code on number 1 we have vs code which is developed by microsoft now vs code and visual studio both are different visual code and visual studio code are visual studio and visual studio code are both different platforms vs code is a free source code editor developed by microsoft it helps us write debug and correct the code using intellisense
then it has so many features that people often compare it with an IDE. IDE is an integrated development environment. IDE such as Eclipse, NetBeans and there are other IDEs. People often compare VS Code with those IDEs because of the features and things it provides. Some people even call this a mini ID, but I leave it up to you for you to decide what you want it to be. VS Code is cross-platform software that works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It is easy to use. It also has many language support and is also customizable by us. We can set whichever theme we want and make it look whatever we want. It runs so smoothly and is a developer-friendly uh, developer UI which makes it the most used text editor around the world. It has by far taken up, it has moved up when from when it was released, it has just moved up the charts and is the number one text editor used all around the world by all of the developers. Now let's talk about the pro and cons of VS Code. On the pros list, we have IntelliSense detects the wrong syntax. I also spoke about IntelliSense. It detects the wrong syntax and asks us to correct it. It shows an error when we have written a wrong syntax and give us, gives us the right suggestion. Okay, it is free to use. It has a developer friendly UI. It has multiple language support. You can even code in Python and uh, Ruby and many other languages, not just front end, but also back end. Okay. It is fast and lightweight. It has a built in terminal, which you can also use for, you know, Node.js when you're using Node.js, you can use it for that. It has vast number of packages and plugins. You can install so many packages and so many plugins that are there in VS Code. It also has a function of live preview, which you can use with the live server plugin. Now the cons of VS Code are the battery consumption is high. Debugging tools are great but then also they are limited so they have limited debugging tools sometimes not always a device heats up while using uh, vs code and even though it provides many language support still a few languages support are not provided at all okay if you want to download vs code on your pc you can click on the i button right now and download vs code from there as i started learning web development in notepad then I moved up to brackets and then I started using Atom and the only reason I stopped using Atom because was how slow it is. Okay. And then I shifted to VS code and now I'm absolutely in love with VS code. You might have seen in my videos, previous videos, I was using Atom, but I shifted to VS code a few time, a few time ago and I'm absolutely in love with VS code. I prefer VS code over all the other text editors because VS Code has many features and packages inbuilt that you might, to, might have to download in other editors. Even in Atom, there are many features that you need to download at packages, but VS Code has so many built-in features. What can I say? VS Code makes development fast, easy, and it has many themes that make it look visually good and make us feel comfortable and make us feel powerful as we have control over the editor. I would prefer you to try VS Code or else you can just try them yourself and decide which one suits you. Okay, now I have given you a list of five best text editors according to me for web development. Mention in the comment section which text editor you think is the best. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with your friends so they can also know which is the best text editor. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.